I played as Kite Tenjo for 24 hours, and in those 24 hours, I got a lot of easy wins. But my duels weren't all easy. Occasionally, I would brick because my deck looked like this. And with my deck being so bad, this would happen. <laughs> So then I decided to upgrade my deck and I realized I had the new Photon Orbital. My opponents just didn't know how to play around the Orbital so I would just get some pretty clean wins. Not even the top tier decks could really stop me. Once I upgraded my deck it was just uphill from there. I even went up against some Harpy ladies but in the end I always came up winning as you guys can see here. I grabbed the Galaxy Cyclone, he swallowed Nest and this is where it all started. I brought out my Star Leech Lord Galaxion and with his ability I was able to bring out a Photon Dragon and I started to destroy. During their next turn they activated a Harpy's hunting ground to try to destroy my back row but I didn't let him do that and once he summoned a monster I brought out my treacherous trap hole and that just made them rage quit right there. Then I went up against a really tough deck the Gaia deck. I did start off with a treacherous trap hole so I knew all I had to do was really time it perfectly and I could get a pretty easy win. If he did summon the Gaia the fierce knight origin which is not the monster we're afraid of. The one we're afraid of is Gaia the magical knight as well as the curse of dragon fire so as soon as they came out onto the field I activated my treacherous trap hole and I got rid of them. At this point, I activate my Cosmic Cyclone to get rid of his field spell and attack directly for 3000 and that's pretty much game because he can't search and he most likely doesn't have anything in hand. I even played against the tier 1 auto match which was one of my easiest duels throughout the entire day. So the good thing about this duel is that my opponent did end up starting first which pretty much gave me the advantage to read the field and really decide what I wanted to do. Luckily, he only brought out a Gaga Samurai so I activated my skill, got a Galaxy Cyclone so I could get rid of that back row first. Next from there, I proceeded to do what the photons do best. I brought out my Lord Galaxion, and with the Lord Galaxion, I was able to bring out the Galaxy as Photon Dragon. With him on the field, I activate Photon Stream of Destruction, get rid of his monster, and then I just attack for game. And like I said, it was my easiest duel throughout the entire day. For some reason, someone thought it was a good idea to bring in 6 Samurais into rank PvP. Like why? Why would you ever do that? So for this duo, I knew I had to be careful with the dual wheel. No matter what hint I get, it means nothing if he just dual wielded me, I would pretty much just have a clean field. So I get a Galaxy Cyclone and I get lucky and actually snipe out the dual wheel. So from there, I summon my Thrasher and then my Vanisher and you guys knows what goes after that. But then he actually activated another dual wheel. Luckily, Thrasher, you can actually activate his effect again. So I was able to just summon him onto the field and this time special summon my Photon Advancer. And this is where it all goes downhill for him. I bring out my galaxy as photon i destroy his fuma fuma brings in another monster and then my galaxy as photon dragon gets rid of the last one he summons another monster i activate my treacherous get rid of my xc and destroy his monster and right there he just surrenders but the fact that he got two dual wields in his starting hand is just insane after that duel i got one of my most satisfying wins which actually got me into legend 3. so starting off i summon the photon thrasher and i equip him with the photon orbital so i could actually search for another monster after I summoned Vanisher, he actually gave me a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which I actually sent back to the deck so I could get a Photon Stream of Destruction. With that, I proceed to XC into my Lord Galaxion, and Lord Galaxion actually brings in my Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon like every other duel. Now, the thing I forgot to mention is that I do have two Treacherous Trap Holes, which I was able to clean up his monsters with. Then I activate the Galaxy Eyes Photon Stream to destroy a back row. I draw into a Galaxy Cyclone and I just attack for game but he ends up just surrendering right there. From there things just started to go downhill. I ended up losing a duel which I did not record but I did catch the duel after that which I went up against Thunder Dragon. So when it comes to my duel with the Thunder Dragons everything actually worked out perfectly but I ended up doing a mistake. So once I exceed into my Lord Galaxion I bring in a Photon Dragon and then I actually grab a Photon Stream of Destruction. Now I actually decided to save the Photon Stream of Destruction because I expected him to have a Veil in hand. So I ended up missing an OTK and that's when things actually ended up getting crazy. My opponent brought out a Chaos Dragon Levioneer which you can't really chain into so I was forced to actually activate my Photon Stream of Destruction and get rid of his monster. He was still able to destroy my monsters and from there he still had a couple strengths he could pull. He ended up bringing out his Thunder Dragon Duo and he also brought out a Raiden. So I ended up activating my TTH, got rid of both the monsters but I didn't draw into any monsters myself. From here he was able to bring back his monsters, he drew into a Luth Lupine and I got destroyed. After that duo I figured it was getting too late for me so I figured I would end my night there so that means I ended my night as a Legend 3. 